you notice, I'm alone. This is gonna be my first solo trip. Those are the sounds I'm hoping to get away from on this trip. Today, it's gonna be an interesting day. It's already been raining. <laughs> it's been super windy, like getting blown around on the on the drive kind of thing. So I'm at Access 17, which is Shallow Lake. And I'll be heading up towards Booth Lake. Uh, it's west, and I'm not stopping there. I'm gonna continue on uh, down McCarthy's Creek, and I'm gonna go through Mole Lake, and then up through the 720 meter into Gata Lake. So night two, <laughs> I'm gonna travel south, and uh, I'm gonna go into Boot Lake. Read one trip report on it from Brad Jennings of Explore the Backcountry and watch the video. And that's about it. That's all I know about it. I'm gonna unpack the car. Hopefully, it looks like the rain stopped for now, which is nice. And then we'll be on the water. I saved me. Me. Me and my thoughts. Talking to myself for three days. Here's the pack. Let's say 57, just to be nice. 47, not too bad. doing it. I was originally going to not get a pack boat and I was going to get a solo boat, like a true solo with a single seat and kneeling and everything, but they were out. So I went with this one. It's probably best because it's pretty windy today. So hopefully uh, they don't get windbound on boots. Let's see when I get there. Gansers, anybody? Quite a few of them. <laughs> um, it appears there's nobody there, so I'm just gonna go up there and look around. <laughs> well, that must have been sad when that happened. So I always bring an extra paddle. Anybody on the guest list? <laughs> Fire pit. Here's the cabin. So it looks like this was restored in 2015. Fortunately, people like to unrestore it and graffiti and vandalize it all over the place. But it's open. <laughs> I think this is one of the biggest cabins you can rent, which is pretty cool. It's 
It's pretty nice. Eight bunks. Pretty high ceiling. Get yourself a wood stove. Perfect place to be uh, in the fall. If anything happened, I would come here first. A big pot. <laughs> Bunch of garbage. What's that? Cookie jar thing. Get some games. Oh, thank you, person who smokes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's neat. These are all little paddles that people carved. Hmm. A little description of the uh, of the cabin. A map, if you need it. See, I'm here, and there's a little portage there, one here, paddle, 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 oh, <laughs> what does that mean? And then we're going up into here. And again, I say we as in me and my thoughts. Okay, I saw the shed and I was like, oh, that's the outhouse. Oh, wow, nice. No, it's it's got a cooler. Um, some games and a barbecue. How do you, do you bring it in the box and assemble it? Like <laughs> that one makes sense. That's a big one. Holy cow! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Got my paddle. See if I can do some solo paddling. I'll we'll see. Solo is in one battle. So I have three goals for this trip. One, be safe and basically don't die. <laughs> Two, I want to achieve something that Mark said, Mark Lubino from uh, Mark in the Park season one, the very first night. I'll let him explain it. And think about it too. I mean, when you're living in the city or even in a town, like how often have you gone 24 hours without seeing another human being? Probably never. It just doesn't happen. There's always people around you, right? So it'd be kind of interesting to put yourself in an environment where you see more wildlife than you do fellow humans. So it's a bit different. I want complete solitude. We'll see if it happens. That one's not up to me, but I think the route I selected gave me the best chance. And then number three, have fun and don't get worried or flustered or angry or upset. Things don't work out or if, you know, weather's bad or I can't get a fire going or whatever. Just uh, have a good time. And smash into all the trees. <laughs> So yeah, those are my three goals of this trip. Hopefully I can succeed in all three. So far I have not died, so we're good. <laughs> that was a short 90 meter. I gotta readjust something. It's front heavy, but I think that's because of the GoPro. This canoe is like, it's ridiculously light. So I can just, whoop. Up and off. Crazy.
gonna do this one. I'm gonna put some stuff in different places to see if I can balance the canoe out. And uh, on to Booth for a long paddle. We'll see what it's like. This is the loudest I've ever been on a portage. Booth like. I think I now know why. I see people like Joe and Karina. They all exit the portage like going backwards, even on the bottom of the pie camera. He does that too, so maybe that's the easier way. around again. And behind here for some cover. It's uh, hard paddling. You get a gust and then you start going backwards and you're like, oh! <laughs> More wind to come. We're about to go right back out into it. So here we go. <laughs> Pit stop, the rest. I'm at this campsite. It's on a point. So I gotta get all the way down there. It's it's literally a funnel back wall coming down through that marsh. Kind of go for it, but I know that this campsite's available. It does have two fire pits. And I haven't seen anybody. Nobody on any campsites, nothing.
Good thing I brought my canoe pack. There's a lot of water back here. <laughs> just like at the same time started like puffing and puffing and I was like whoa. <laughs> Campsite sign though. Interesting. Campsites in here. This is an okay campsite. Thunderbox is like right there, so. This is a uh, dozen a pinch campsite. Some things that are prohibited in the park. Like cans, glass, and like this has obviously been burnt. For everyone out there, metal doesn't burn. It it melts and then it stays metal. It, it will change shape. That's about it. You have to pack it out. If you pack it in, pack it out. So tomorrow on the way, I'm gonna come down this portage again. Um, oh my, I'll put my garbage bag on top. Oh my goodness, there's stuff all over the place. And uh, do some cleanup. Yeah, garbage all over the place. Crazy. All right, I think this one's uphill the whole way, so. Bit of a workout. I made it. There's two sites on this lake. I'm looking at one right now, and then the other one is like over by the other portage that leads out of here. And um, yeah, I'll check out this first one. If I really like it, I'll just stay there because it's like 5.30 or something. It's getting late. I think it's going to rain overnight, so the tarp might be in order. And uh, I'm getting hungry, so I want food. Just 
take it. It's kind of difficult, but there's chopped wood already done. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, look at this. Oh, there's birch bark in there too. Oh, I might just stay here just because of that. Got some tables. Bunch of grills. What is this one? Firewood burn. Okay. Guess somebody left it there to dry. Liking it so far. Oh, oh, oh. Brand spanking new! They left it open, but brand spanking new! Looks like a new hole, too. Oh! I'm staying here. So I'm kind of thinking here for my tent. It's flat. Alright, I just have my two person, so it doesn't take up much space. The other possibility is like down here. It is a lot more exposed and it's not as flat. It's it's kind of like this, and it's definitely going down to the water, so. decided to put it here in the end. It's actually flat. Flat for one. Da da da! Still pretty windy. Well, not bad, but I'm definitely gonna feel it tonight. This thing is like all mesh on the inside, so air is just gonna go right through. All right, food hangs done. Probably the most sunsetty it's gonna get. Got some water on, got some buns, cause I'm having a burger. Oh, ho, ho. This is from the same batch of burgers that we had in Tamagami. So it's cheese filled. Mm, can't wait. Some barbecue sauce in there too. Kraft uh, makes these little barbecue dipping sauce things. So 
and bring them along. Not the prettiest looking thing, but it's gonna taste good. Oh. <laughs> Brought some marshmallows, big marshmallows, and some graham crackers and some chocolate. Put the stick in the in the water for a little bit, and uh, just gonna separate the logs and have a s'more. <laughs> Okay, I need two hands for this part, so... Well, I think today was a pretty successful day. I got to where I wanted to be before dark. The, uh, the one side of all the winds coming in, I shoved stuff like my rain pants and my PFD and uh, the pack and stuff like that underneath. So the least amount of wind comes up and through here, which is nice. It's actually pretty warm in here. And tonight I think it's only going to go down to minus 8. So it's not going to be too cold. Tomorrow it's going to be a lot colder. Um, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. There uh it seems to be mosquitoes everywhere, but they're not, maybe they're male mosquitoes? They don't have, like, the the nose thing that stabs you. They look very, very similar to mosquitoes. Anyway, I'm gonna catch some Zeds, and, uh, we'll see you in the morning. Well, we're off to Boot Lake. Backed up. Now it's a waiting game. Alright, so we got a break in the weather. It's a bit windy. It has gotten a lot brighter. We're gonna get everything into the the dry bag as quickly as possible. Or the canoe. You know what I mean. The pack. <laughs> this might explain the new Thunderbox. up there, more of it down here, so you can probably see where the canoe was, I just moved it over there, make a wind wall, and uh, I collected some dry stuff which was underneath the canoe, and I set up the stove right there, shouldn't get any wind in here, nope. Slight change in plans. There's a lot of rain coming, I can see it, so just using the canoe as a shelter.
basically a birch bark fire. I'll roll one of these up, shove it in on the burn. <laughs> Clouds are moving really fast. Believe it or not, there's actually blue sky up there. Any rain that I'm feeling is coming off the leaves and, and the needles and stuff. If everything goes wrong today, I'll know that breakfast was a good part. It's raining again. Portage. Nice view on this side. <laughs> it's a puddle now. <laughs> Can't believe I still have to do this. There's even more in the fire pit. Trees of having a light canoe is you can stop. Saw this uh, pretty little falls here. I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. And then I looked behind it and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> so some logging operations happened here. <laughs> Here's a little falls. And there's whatever that is. All built up behind it. It's a really old dam. Back on the portage again. This portage all of a sudden got hard. 